Hi. <laughs> it's the beginning of a new vlog. I always do this. I always do this. <laughs> I always put the kettle on just before I speak to you guys. Hello. Hi. It's the beginning of a new vlog. Um, Le shop. Le grand. Na hai kishapu. Yeah, one. Na hai kishapu because it's 12 right now. It's Thursday. It's quite late for me to be starting a new vlog, but, uh, and I really don't know how much of, maybe I might not even drop a vlog this weekend because I have a busy weekend, family functions and stuff. There's a lot going on and I'm not going to be filming this particular family function. I'm not, I'm just not, um, it's, it's, it's a personal one, this one. But Luna, my power was supposed to be back at 10 a.m. It's 12 p.m. now. Uh, and I had thought when it would come back at 10 a.m., I would take a shower and I would record content. Because, you know, I stockpile content. This is what I do, especially with my sit-down videos. The only thing I record weekly are vlogs. And two days ago, I thought to myself, maybe I just shouldn't record. Maybe this week, let this week be the week for my family. Let this week be. There's a really big central focus on this week for my family and... Uh, something that my sister and I are doing, um, and 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 we're just excited about it. You know what I'm saying? We're really, really excited about it, and uh, it's been keeping us quite busy. Even now, even now, I need to go to Westpac. What is this now, honey? Even now, I need to go to uh, Westpac because I need to pick up some things for this weekend for saturday so that's what we're gonna go do and then after that because there was no power i couldn't make tea i couldn't the only thing i was consuming was this okay it's fantastic uh because there was no power i couldn't eat i just you know so after that i'm probably going to go to echo Kauai. And I'm going to have a, a breakfast or a lunch or a wrap or something uh, and read my book. This will be the first time I'll be going to Kauai without my laptop where I can actually just read. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm not even going to lie. And then I also need to go to Pick and Pay Clothing. Maybe start at Pick and Pay Clothing. Then Westpac. Then Kauai. Yeah. Then I also need to go to Pick and Pay Clothing because Pick and Pay Clothing is fantastic for vests and things like uh, 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 undergarments, especially for the winter time. It is winter. Don't mind the t-shirt because I'm going to show you what I recently copped from Fashini. Because I'm a Fashini hun. I'm trying to have Fashini sponsor me at some point. Um, somebody talk to Fashini, man. Anyway, uh, so um, I recently picked up a, a winter jacket from Fashini, which is just, it's, and it's long, and gas, gas. Anyway, so, get um, over, I know. All I'm going to do now is just make myself a bottle, uh, a tumbler of water, of water, and, uh, and then I'm going to head on out. There's a lot going on this weekend. I've decided to give myself a little bit of grace. I'm constantly recording content and I never disappoint you guys when it comes to dropping content. So chances are this week, the only video that will go out is one that has already gone out today. It's a candid with Ket, uh, the good doctor. Makadimana. Dr. Makadimana, are you okay? Are you okay, Dr. Makadimana? So that's gone out, and I think that'll probably be the only thing I release this week, along with shorts and things like that, um, and, and reels and stuff on my social media platform. So definitely do follow me on Instagram. It's just Katleo, uh, J JK underscore just Katleo. Just punch in just Katleo. I'll pop up. And um, I also have a life by design underscore Katleo page where I do my 
do little clips, real snippets, things on like of that nature, uh, coaching wise. And but I post quite a lot on both platforms. So on on weeks where you don't get to see me a lot on here, just know, just go there. Go to the cream. Tamayo yako cream. Na I can white I'm a little short on jalo. I'm kidding. So please do show the video some support um, this month, especially because I might not be uh, producing uh, as much content as I typically do because, again, also it is my birthday month. So with my birthday month... Uh... Yeah, bon. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just having a little dance moment. With my birthday month... I typically go out to dinners with friends, I go out, I do things, I do things with Diesel and all of that. So a lot of the time I, I don't feel like picking up my camera, you know, but I'll try, I'll try. So please do show the videos uh, this month a little bit more support than you typically would because uh, um, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. Hey, can you see me? Hey girl. Okay. Look at this jacket. Ooh, it's still got the tag on it, girl. Look at this jacket! Look at this jacket! Don't fall on the stairs, honey. Look at this. Oh, I know that's right. Tum, 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 tum. I mean, isn't it the cutest? I absolutely love it. It's got a hoodie. It's great. It's super warm. Um, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Uh, it's not even that cold today. Okay, but the point is, I can do whatever I want. It's winter. It's winter. It's my month. So, uh, I absolutely love this jacket. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say. I absolutely love this jacket. It's warm. And uh, I'm going to wear it today when I'm out and about. So, let's prep. Let's get out of here. Let's go. I'm not going to wear it now because it becomes uncomfortable to drive in jackets that are this, this big. But, uh, let's get out of here. Looks a bit dark in here. <laughs> Hi. Um, it is 4.37 p.m. And um, I'm going upstairs for a much needed, much, much needed. Sorry. It's a bit dark in here. <laughs> what I was saying was my brushes, my makeup brushes need washing. So we're going to do that. But before I do that, I want to put the thing is the dangus. I actually haven't put a mask on my face in a while. So let's go grab one. And then we're gonna wash our makeup brushes while we have the sheet mask on there doing the things. Get out. And then I'll show you what I picked up from Pick and Pay Clothing. And what else? I don't quite remember, but let's start with one thing at a time. Okay, so I just wiped my face down. So let's do the absolute most. Ooh. It's drip dreading. I just don't like. It's actually so cold. I don't know how wise this actually is, but. Okay, no, no. One thing at a time, my darling. Let's try not to poke my eye out, please, Mr. Mask. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm gonna go wash my brushes.
so as i said it's a lot brighter down here so i'm gonna like literally it's not even it's nothing to write home about but it is definitely something to write home about because in winter we all kind of layer up right we wear um vests on vests and then you wear your jersey and then you wear your coat right um and sometimes like i know with me in winter i've got jerseys that are up to here but underneath you want to wear a vest or something that will go along with the jersey and then throw on a coat on top you know so i went into pick and pay clothing and i picked up these pretty much simple black casual crew neck tees okay uh, typically i like v-neck but it's fine in winter because this is pretty much going to be covered most of the time and if you look i got a small and the reason why i got a small is because i don't want these to be too loose on me they're very uncomfortable for me when they lose especially if i'm going to have to throw on a jersey on top or something like that it just becomes really really uncomfortable so you there's a special where you can get two of these for 130 bucks if i'm not mistaken yeah 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 two of these for 130 bucks and these are 70 rand so honestly you're just saving 10 rands to be honest but it's fine it's fine so i got two of these actually three i got three of these because they're black need you ask anymore no and because i wear sneakers and I'm constantly in these kinds of socks, right? And the craziest thing is that they constantly disappear. I lose them. Either I leave them at Diesel's house or I leave them at my parents' house or I just lose them. I don't know how I lose them. So I saw these and these are such lovely, pastel -y kind of colors. So I picked up these. I am a size like three, but I typically take four to seven. Um, and these were going for 79 bucks. So it really wasn't even that expensive that's honestly all i got oh no i didn't mine <laughs> and then i got obviously the black ones and this is a pair of five a pair of five a pair of five five pairs five pairs and uh these went for 110 honestly i don't know what to do with myself i think maybe i might just read if i don't read i'll I actually don't know what to do with myself. I'm going to wait for the power to come back. Uh, it should be back in about 45 minutes or so. And then I can continue watching Love and Death. So I'm watching Love and Death on Showmax. And my sister put me on that. And it is absolutely wild. It's such a great show. Honestly, if you're looking for a new show to watch, definitely try out Love and Death on Showmax. Um, and next week I'll be recording my Netflix... Netf Netflix? I'll be recording my Netflix recommendations next week. So that'll be a video all on its own because I do watch more Netflix than I do Showmax and um, uh, Prime, all of them, Disney. Uh, on Prime and Disney, I'm, I'm under Diesel's account, but I get to watch them here at home, which is which is great. He's, he's kind of like set up a, um, uh, another thing, uh, profile for me. That kind of day, man. Just chilling, just chilling, hanging out. Skin, skin. Okay, are you? Hey friends, it's the next day. Um, I'm actually closing up here. I'm about to leave. I'm going to my mother's house for the evening. Um, and I'll be back here <clears throat> tomorrow afternoon. Probably around 5, 6, 7, somewhere there. Um, yeah, so Naledi and I, I'm going to meet her there. I'm going home. I am wearing a t-shirt I was wearing yesterday. Don't mind me. The weather's kind of crazy. 
actually the whole outfit <laughs> if i showed you you guys would die but anyway um so i'm going to mom's playzy for the evening um there's just a function that we're having at home and i'm really really looking forward to it i'm excited um the people who are going to be there are people who are um in support of us and in support of uh, our family the people that are closest to us it's something that i'm very very emotional about and i don't i don't care to talk too much about to be honest um it, it really is just something that is very personal to our family um so naledi and i are a little bit nervous but we're very excited as well that we get to do this that we get to do this everybody um so i don't know what day we're on uh i i just switched the camera on it's a day before my birthday and i've got a full face of makeup on because i was recording content however this week is my off week um i made a community post on on youtube uh if you're a subscriber you've probably seen it to say that I'm off this week. I'm not going to be posting any videos this week, Cha. I'm tired. I'm taking a break. Uh, but even in my taking a break, recording for me is, is quite enjoyable and therapeutic. So I did record four videos today for sit-down videos. And I probably will be recording a membership video later on this evening where i'm going to talk about club culture or if if you want to call it a south african way groove culture in south africa and how problematic it actually really really is and uh, that one i'll be filming a little bit later with my lights on and all of that i'm just relaxing at this point because i'm hungry it is currently quarter to three i haven't eaten all day and I am going to make myself some toast and coffee, call it a day, relax my body, and um, just really enjoy the day before my birthday. Tomorrow, I probably will... Am I going to start a new vlog for tomorrow? I don't know. But I'm probably going to take myself out tomorrow tomorrow. Um, I always take the day off work if I am, if it's my birthday, I always take the day off work and I just kind of do my own thing and do the things that I enjoy to do. And one of my favorite today is my grandmother's birthday and my grandmother and I are very, very close, but I was with my grandmother earlier on in this past weekend. I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that one later. Just amazing. It's amazing. I might cook later on today. Might cook basically means making meat because I don't necessarily feel like I had the healthiest weekend. So I'm feeling quite bloated. Uh, my face is quite swollen because there was a lot of crying over this weekend. Crying for good things and also crying bad things. Uh, so when I woke up this morning, I was quite puffy. My lids were very puffy. I was worried about recording, but I feel like my eyelashes are covering all of that mess up, so it's fine. Um, but I also feel, I feel puffy.
happy yeah uh, happy pre-birthday vibes to myself cheers I'm actually gonna make my way upstairs I actually want to have an early night I know my birthday tomorrow I should be sad everything I am but not excited enough to sleep late to be honest so I'm just gonna turn in for the evening probably go upstairs read and unwind for the rest of the evening I'm not taking my camera up with me um, I'm switching it off and I'll probably switch it back on tomorrow I am doing breakfast with my sister at my favorite spot in the world a restaurant within a bookshop my darling I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm looking forward to it today was my grandmother's birthday she got a cell phone today yes girl yes queen <laughs> uh and that's great like i'm i'm happy for her i'll deliver her books my grandmother is a book lover daniel Steele. so i will get her her books and then i'll probably send them through to her later on in the week Sayonara. hi hey uh it's my birthday today and I'm at my sister's house. Yeah, see the background? It's not my house. It's my sister's house. But uh, I'm going to leave my camera. You see? Did you hear that? Yeah, that's that's her. Um, it's my birthday today, and I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. I'm not wearing makeup today. Couldn't care less, okay? But my sister's taking me to one of my favorite restaurants in Joburg. And I wanted to show you how my outfit looks, because... It's that kind of day, okay? See? Keeping it, keeping it clean, keeping it, you know. I'm in that lady's office. She's working right now. And evidently, Tina Mange, Mele see me. Get a job! <laughs> Mele see, you see? You see? Did you hear that? Anyway, guys, I get to get to see a camera because I'm going to into a camera, but I will take some clips in the car and at the restaurant and at the bookshop now lady's gonna buy me a book today and a choice hey 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 now lady's buying me a book now lady's actually working on something so special <laughs> i can't ever i can't i can't actually ah man i'm on my vlog stop disturbing me now lady's actually Nelly's actually working on something so special for you guys her faves oh i love it so much and I'm looking at them right now, and it's just like, I can't wait. I can't. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself. Can't even be your own friend, cause you're always just stuck in your head. How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out And sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some And sometimes you won't But we could be everything Everything, anything That we see we could be We could be opinions to know how you're feeling to know if you're losing or winning left behind or within it if you're sinking or swimming existing or living nothing up. that they could do nothing that they could say nothing that they could do to take all the pain away sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't
hey everybody it's the evening it is currently six o'clock which basically means dinner for me um it's the next day after my birthday and today today was the day where i just chilled i didn't really do anything except uh mosey around i went to go get my nails done today back to the coffin shape we love it for us uh, i went to go get my nails done today and then afterwards i kind of moseyed about around the mall just uh, got my steps in for the day and then went over to Kauai and i edited a couple of videos and had a wrap i also got something for dinner while i was there uh, because i figured that i don't want to cook and so i got the teriyaki bowl which i'll show you shortly as i wrap up this vlog but i did want to show you some books because what's new what's new what is a vlog by me with no books the first books that i got were a gift from penguin random house and uh one is a recipe book which i'm very very excited about and one is a book by an author i haven't read yet but i do have one of his books in the house and i've heard wonderful things about his works so the first book that i got from penguin random house is alex north's uh the half burnt house which is a horror novel as you can tell you know you don't even need to ask um so basically it follows katie who's always looked after her younger brother chris until one day she left him alone for one carefree afternoon chris was then savagely attacked and the picture perfect family fell apart well done katie <sighs> how do you do that anyway so i'm really excited to read that typically with thrillers and horrors i really don't like to read too much into the book because i, I, I just, shh, the less i know the better for me it makes it more exciting to read and then this one i, I remember having a chat with charity about this and she received this charity is uh is she flexitarian and she's trying to go she's trying to go all the way vegan i don't know charity yeah charity charity okay but she wanted this book, uh, and I remember we saw it when we had gone to the um, to the media, the trade media event for Penguin Random House, and she received it. And I was looking through the recipes online, and then I thought, "Geez, this is quite an interesting recipe book, and this is great for people who are vegetarian or even vegan." There's some vegan options, but because I'm not, I can add a little bit of meat to whatever dish it is here or maybe not even sometimes just do it the way it is um so we've got some soups in here we've got uh baked sweet potatoes i uh, can't wait to try this uh one out the other book that i recently got was the feed my tribe one which i left at diesel's house because apparently he wants to start using recipe books now himself so that's weird Okay. Anyway, um, and then for my birthday yesterday, I went a little bit crazy. My sister did buy me one book and I bought myself three. <laughs> um, very, very excited about all of these books. I have read from two of the authors of these books. Um, now, Lady picked up for me as a gift for my birthday as much as she also treated me to brunch she picked up Electra for me uh this is by jennifer saint and she's the author behind ariadne now if i haven't already mentioned it on my channel which i probably have i'm a very big fan of greek mythology i loved the song of achilles and uh circe as well i haven't finished circe i started reading it then i put it down don't ask me why I don't know why uh but nali picked up electra for me and it's in my favorite size i don't typically like the trade size which is slightly bigger than this i'm not a fan uh this is the trade size so basically trade and then this this for me is more manageable it goes into my bags my totes quite easily so she picked up electra for me which i'm really really excited for i'm not going to give you the synopsis this video is going to be long enough and um i a couple of months ago read what moves the dead by uh 
tea kingfisher and i realized that they had nettle and bone as well which i've also heard really really great things about so i picked it up not really crazy about the cover of the book in fact i think um uh, uh what moves the dead has a definite better cover but anyway that's that's me so i picked this one up as well um the two that i'm very very excited about are these two this first one is convenience store woman by sayaka murata now i've been trying to find this book everywhere i've been trying to find it everywhere and when i look on take a lot it takes like 16 weeks to deliver and i got lucky because there was one left um yesterday when i was in exclusive books a rather short book and it's basically about a woman who works at a convenience store keiko who just enjoys her you know mundane life working at a convenience store but is actually living a quite a happy life um so she she loves the fact that she's working there don't see a problem with it her parents typically just don't understand why you know just get a better job Anyway, and then of course, Maggie O'Farrell is the one who has written Hamnet, and this is her memoir. It's called I Am, I Am, I Am, 17 Brushes with Death. O'Farrell takes up a bow and arrow and aims right at the human heart. Maggie O'Farrell writes very, very well. So to read this, I'm very, very much excited about. So very excited about my birthday purchases. Ah! <laughs> And thank you to uh, Penguin Random House as well for the books. And uh, I started reading this because my friend Charity is having a read-along um, of Kindred by Octavia Butler. This is known as a modern classic at the moment. This book was released in 1979. I'm 36 pages in and I want to pick it up again. Essentially, I'm going to have my dinner right now and then I'm going to make my way upstairs, going to wrap up this vlog and go upstairs and read this because waha how. So we follow Adena in this and it's 1979. She lives with her husband, Kevin, and they've just moved into a new house. And suddenly in the middle of nowhere, she starts getting blurry, blurry vision. She gets a little bit disoriented and bada bing, bada boom, she lands up in the middle of the woods somewhere. The next thing she remembers, she lands up in the middle of the woods somewhere in 1815 and she sees this young boy drowning in a lake and she rescues him and suddenly she's back in 1979 in her living room on the floor and her husband is just like, what in the world has just happened to you? And then bada bing bada boom, again she disappears, she goes back into uh, 18 whatever time again. And she sees this young boy again who's a little bit older. So she telepaths between these different times and spaces. And she's trying to figure out what in the world is going on. And um, so far what I do understand is that there is some relation to this young boy and herself. And it's so interesting. Oh my god, I'm enjoying it so, so much. So, yeah. Uh, that's it from me. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me um birthday messages and all of that i absolutely felt so loved uh, yesterday and um i I'm, I'm grateful and really humbled and if you are here and you subscribe to the channel thank you very very much if you remember thank you very very much thank you very much to everybody who's watching i'm gonna make myself some dinner and uh eat something and then probably go to bed and read for a little bit and i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow so until the next video i'll see you very very soon until then take care of yourselves your mind and your heart and look after yourselves uh, thank you so much for choosing me every single day i really do appreciate that i choose you myself and i'll see you in the next video until then sayonara